In this video, we will be covering the use of the Ludlow Measurements Model 14C General Purpose Survey Meter. The unit is very easy to use and requires minimal training. Connect the Type-C cable to the connector on the Ludlow Model 14C. Connect the other end of the cable to the Model 44-9 General Purpose Alpha Beta Gamma Contamination Pancake Frisker. Turn the thumb screw on the front panel a quarter turn counterclockwise. Pull up on the battery lid and the battery compartment will open. Insert two D-cell batteries following the polarity markings on the underside of the battery lid. Close the battery compartment by turning the thumb screw a quarter turn clockwise. Turn the rotary switch from the off position to the times 0.1 position, which is the lowest range on the survey meter. You will hear occasional beeps from the survey meter just as a result of background radiation. Remove the snap-in front cover from the end of the 44-9 pancake detector. Inspect the window and make sure there is no damage to the thin layer of mica that allows the alpha particles to be detected. Open the door on the cesium-137 check source on the side of the instrument. Hold the window of the model 44-9 up as close as you can to the check source without touching it. Select the appropriate range for the radiation being measured. Turn the instrument over and look at the calibration sticker. You will see a value, in this case 0.9 milliyard per hour. Inspect the reading on the dial. As long as it is within 20% of this, the instrument is good and ready for use. If not, the instrument may need calibration. While you're looking at the calibration sticker, also make sure that it is within the calibration date. If it is past the due date, the instrument may need calibrated. If it does, notify your boss. Now, hold down the bat button on the front panel of the instrument. Make sure that the needle passes the first vertical mark on the dial. If not, change the batteries immediately. If it passes the battery check, the instrument will be ready for use. Now, we'll go over the controls on the instrument. You will see a switch labeled AUD, or AUD. One position is on, the other position is off. This will turn the speaker on the side of the instrument on or off, depending on if you need audio or not. If you don't need audio, make sure to leave the switch in the off position as to not waste the battery of the instrument. Next to this, there's a switch labeled FS. You will see an image of a hare and also a turtle. This is the response time of the unit. In the F position, or fast, the needle will have a time resolution of 4 seconds. In S, or slow, the time resolution will be 22 seconds. Below all this, you will see the reset button. The reset button resets the needle in case you need to remeasure or take a new measurement. You may now do your surveys. But make sure when you're done with the surveys to put the protective cap back on the 44-9 and put the probe in the clip. Hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks for watching.